friends today in this video we are going to just create a website like delivery the customer can come to our website and they can book a parcel service online and as you can see this is the website which we are created and this is totally a free theme which we are used to create this website but some additional plugins we use is uh, paid plugins okay this is the uh, booking option available here so a customer can choose the delivery mode and they can just ship their furniture like this and they can choose the delivery mode and they can just click on proceed to checkout and by clicking the view cart option they can see the weight and all these things okay now they can update the weight of the product and they can see the price for that particular item and they can just click on proceed to checkout and they check out and they can enter their billing details and shipping details and they can just pay with their credit card or debit card and this is a test mode or this is a demo website that's why we are using in a test mode okay once the uh, customer is paid they will get a shipping address and they will get a tracking number everything later they can also just edit that shipment and they can just enter into their dashboard and they can just change all the details and actually this is an automatic processes uh, when a customer pay uh, above for a particular shipping they will be redirect to the, this dashboard and they can just change all the details of the shipment and they can see the pickup date, expected delivery date, all these things we can do at the back end and just assign the customer can assign and on the track result page you can see this is the tracking result page of our website the customer can see about the shipment history of that particular product they can see who is updated and what is the status, latest status of that order all these things they can be see on our website okay on the shipment settings on the click on all shipment and the admin can just assign for a particular agent or a branch when a shipment receives on our website this is the backend process of our website the admin can change the agents and all these things they can update the status of that shipping and they can just update for each updation the customer also get also get a email notification also and also the customer can just take out the printout of invoice way bill etc so we they can do it from their own computer or their own mobile phone so the customer can do it online and our system is totally online and this is the dashboard of the employees of our company and they can just enter into that dashboard and they can just change all the details and they can manage all the shipment of our website they can change the locations and all the details they can change on their dashboard they can choose the pickup date, expected delivery date and the time, pickup time all these things they can be changed from their, from their dashboard, employees dashboard and this can be added from our WordPress backend and on the dashboard section they are employees can see how much pending or picked up on hold whatever the shipment all the report of the total shipment for their branch they can see the details and if they want to create a new shipment that option also available on the front end so the employees can create all these things and we now we can check how we can take the printout of a particular order like this we can just click on a, a bill and you can see the printing is coming out so once a print come out you can just 
paste it on your cartoon and you can paste to the employees and all the details you can see here on the printing label like this you can create the website with wordpress and you can see this is the mobile version of our website and this is totally responsive on mobile phone also so the customer can easily manage on the mobile phone like this it's very mobile friendly website and we created this website on a free theme so watch the video till the end and you can just create your website like this if you are, uh, if you want to create a website like delivery so when you choose a web, when you have to create a website you have to use a good hosting so use hostinger.in or so use hostinger.in or hostinger.com the link i will give in the description box below so you can choose that hostinger and also some paid plugins are also needed so the link for that plugin also i will give in the description box below uh, so just you can go to the video and we can create the website so this is the website hostinger.in so click on domain checker and you can just buy a domain for your website domain means your website name so just type your website name here and you can search the domain name is it available or not once the domain name is available click on add to cart after that hosting if you are going to create for a company then use cloud hosting as this is a demo website and using a small plan from this list so just click on add to cart and you can choose the time length of the web web hosting you can just choose a web hosting for 12 months and now click on checkout now here you can just log in with your google or facebook account then use a payment method choose any of the payment method like upi paytm etc paypal choose any of the payment method and you can just fill the billing details here and you can complete the checkout process it's easy and you can do it by yourself it's easy and you can do it by yourself you can enter the remaining address once you have finished you will get a control panel like this click on manage and on the control panel we are going to install wordpress on your registered domain name so just click on auto installer and we can just install wordpress on that website click on wordpress and here you have to enter all the details for your website like username password and language etc then click on install okay guys our website is just installed wordpress so just type wp admin along with your domain name and you can enter into your dashboard like this and these are all some default plugins go to the plugin section and we can just deactivate all these plugins we don't need these plugins at all so go to the plugin section click on install plugins and just deactivate all the plugins and delete all these plugins we don't need any of these plugins Okay, once the plugin is deleted go to the home option just click on home and we can just open our website in a new tab and we can just refresh and we can just go to the dashboard again 
click on appearance and click on themes click on add new here you can you can search for a block C theme block C theme and this is totally free theme just click on install and activate it's a lightweight and speed theme so just click on activate and there is no much bugs or something like that on this website uh, on this theme so i'm using that theme now just refresh our website and you can see the theme has been changed now click on install and activate the plugin and wait for some time to get installed and activate once that finished click on skip this option and now here you can see the starter site which is a demo website so you can just import any of this uh, demo website and you can use for your website so I am choosing uh, demo website and you can use for your website so I am choosing as a elementor website so I am choosing this website you can choose any of this demo website and you can just start import I am using elementor and it's a very good page builder that's why I am using that click on next and only few plugins uh, is needed for this website and so our website is more speedy and with more secure so just installing the demo contents okay our demo contents is imported successfully so we can go to our next step so just we can go to our website and see the changes okay guys the website has been changed and it's now beautiful so the only thing instead of starting from the scratch we can just edit with element click on the home section and we can add some additional plugins which for the for our website so click on plugin section click on add new here type WooCommerce as you know WooCommerce is the important plugin for our website so just click on install and it's totally free plugin now type WP Cargo this also a free plugin so just install that plugin also once we finish that we have some additional plugins so the link of that plugin i will give in the description box below you can just download it or you can get it from that link so just download this package and you can just upload this package as you are seeing in the video just install and activate all these plugins so click on install now one by one Like this you can upload all the plugins on the package and wait for some time to get and install all these plugins. Okay guys now we have finished all these plugins. Now just click on inactive section and activate WooCommerce. and you can see this is the default activation page now click on skip setup store details click on that and click on no thanks now click on the plugin section and you can just click on inactive section now activate the WP cargo option go option for the plugin like this activate all the plugins as you are seeing in the video and just activate all the plugins as you are seeing in the video in that same order you can just activate all the plugins Okay guys now we are just activated all the plugins now go to the WP cargo option and go to the license helper option and you can just activate all the plugins now go to the WooCommerce settings and you can just set up your WooCommerce settings it's 
totally super easy thing so you can just select your building store address and you can add your and you can add your selling location it's all depend upon your requirements and your needs so you <coughs> you can do it by yourself you can choose your currency once you finish that click on save changes click on the products option here also you can choose the product options and if you want to enable reviews you can enable that i don't want to enable reviews now go to the shipping options here this is an important part click on add shipping zones zone name you can add your country name here or whatever zone name you can add and so regions you can add and add shipping method you can just add that also once you finish on the shipping option settings you can just click on default to customer shipping address make sure to enable that option and click on save changes okay on the next section is payment and on the payment section you can just enable cash on delivery click on save changes on the account and privacy section you can enable the guest checkout and all these options are optional optional according to your requirements so you can use according to your requirements and once you finish that click on save changes on the email settings you can just enable all your email settings here on the advanced section also very easy you can do that go to the WP cargo settings and you can enable the cargo settings and add shipment status you can add us you can add a of the status like this and you can upload your logo for your wordpress dashboard you can just upload your logo and you can just track page you can set up a track page for your website and you can choose the phone family phone size etc and you can change the basic colors and shipment number prefix you can change that and you can add your own prefix and suffix add like this you can add the tags base color all these things you can do it by yourself once you finish that on the client email settings you can change the email templates click templates and domain email name you can add your domain email name and you can change the subject subject of the notification and the admin email settings you can see the admin email settings here uh, print where bill so you can change all this layout like this you can change all this short code with this short code you can change all these things and or you can change all these options on the front end dashboard you can change these options all these are optional according to your requirements you can change the access front end dashboard all these options roles all this you can change front end dashboard all these options roles all this you can change according to your requirements you can add registration info into the address book so you can just change the details and the who order settings this is also an important section so just click on create shipment after checkout select that option on the first name option you can change the shipper name and the last name also shipper name so according to this the mapping is doing so when a customer enter their building details and shipping details so the address that address will be mapped on this section and it will be 
send it to our shipment part of our website right now click on save settings settings you can choose the multiple package options as you can enable or disable all these options according to your requirements like this you can change the dimension unit weight unit etc here on the map settings i don't want to use the map for this demo website so i'm not going to much more into it if you have google map api key you can just add into these settings and you can just enable or disable the options according to your requirements okay guys now we have finished that now click on customize and we can just change the logo of our website now click on that particular section if you want to change the logo go to the header and just click on the section and you can see a pop-up is came and you can just change your logo and make sure it is very well designed so just upload your logo you can add sticky state logo okay guys now you can just enable the logo height here you can just enable the logo height and if you want you can just enable the site title site type tagline instead of logo you can add that and now click on publish okay now our logo is changed now on the header section you can change the whole header section here now on the menu and other buttons we can change it later like this you can change the footer section also you can change the copyright area you can change the powered by option whatever the copyright section you can change copyright area you can change the powered by option whatever the copyright section you can change that i'm just adding only our website name wp hacks for you i'm just changing that only once you finish that click on publish like this you can change all the widget and all these menus it's totally super easy and you can just check it on that website right like this you can change the typography color all these settings you can be changed from this customized area you can change the site title and the tagline of the website so you can just copy and paste or whatever you can add that I'm just copying or pasting from the internet you can just select a site icon for that and just crop and you can set the site icon you can change the menu all these things you can be done now click on publish and our logo is changed on our website and you can see now we can just edit with elementor we can just edit the page now just click on recreate kit as sometimes this error will come you can just change that now click on save changes just click on recreate kit and you can just save changes and if you want you can just select all other options and you can just do it that also click on save changes now click on the delivery express option the delivery express option and now click on edit with elementor again now we can uh, edit with elementor now the elementor is active and you can edit all these sections you can change the background image of a particular section which is on our home page you can click on the style and you can change that with your own banner image I'm just adding with my own banner image click on banner image and you can just upload that image click on insert media 
and on the layout section you can just adjust the height of that particular image you can just adjust the height of that image then you can just delete some textures from there and you can just add your I want to set up my main image into some portion so I am just click on the position section and click on center center ok now it's right now you can change the title of that section you can change your own title add your own title this is completely optional and you can change according to your requirements if you want to import any other demos from this theme you can just use that also and you can just clear the errors you can change this button text instead of learn more you can change the button text book now the next section and you can just edit the next section okay now we can add a page link on that particular section so go to the show page and change the page name as book online book parcel service online or whatever you need you can just add that on the show page and click on update and click on view page and here you can see the url of the page is something like index so we can just change to the default url of the permalink section go to the permalinks and click on post name and click on save changes and now go to the pages section again and just open the page the page which we are edited now and you can see the page is looking nice and the url is ok now just paste that url on the section like this and click on update once you finish that you can go to the next section of the page and you can change all the details you can change the title and the description and you can change the icons etc it's all very easy so you can do it by yourself you can change the textures of the sections like this you can change all the sections you can add your own contents here like this you can change all the settings all the sections change according to your requirements ok once we finish that we can go to another section and we can change the images you can change the poster image you can just upload your own images for this website I am using this image I you know this is not such a beautiful image but for a demo website for a training purpose I am using this image you can add some beautiful images you can change the textures and you can change any sections by clicking on that particular section and you can change the image and you can use your own images it on your website choose an image and you can just use it on, on that particular section you can change the title if the title is now the title is ok now you can just add the details like this you can change the youtube gallery like this you can add some youtube videos of your company you can add the process of booking on our website all these things you can add it on the front page of your website 
now you can just change that image overlay you can add some banner image just choose a banner image you can use it for that YouTube overlay okay okay now you can change the particular sections like this change all the titles Whatever titles you need you can just add it on that website you can change all these things like for your track whatever you need you can just add that and if you want to delete a particular section just click on that close option and you can just delete that section just delete the sections once you finish that click on update and if you want to create a section just click on like this and you can just drag and drop any text row any textures like this and you can just add the tracking order track your order and you can add a short code for tracking that order make it center and click on that section and select short code and just drag and drop under track your order section just drag and drop and you can just paste the short code the short code link all I will give in the description box below you can just go and you can check the description box and you will get all the details of making this website there okay once you finish that click on view page section and you can see now our front page is ready and this is a demo website you can create your website more much better than this now ok guys now go to the product section you can just add few products for our website click on add new and give a product title which is for a courier ok courier and you can just add the descriptions you can add the regular price and you can add a product short description you can add a image all these super easy you can just create according to the WooCommerce product adding system you can just add it once you finish that click on publish and you can go to the product page and you can see the product page is ready like this we can add you can see the product page is ready like this we can add some another product we can add a furniture and you can just add a variable product click on attributes click on add here you can add an attribute name you can add an attribute name delivery mode so the customer can choose the preferred delivery mode you can choose some values for that particular delivery mode like air cargo train by road by sheet etc whatever you need you can just add the values according to the descriptions provided here you can just add these details these details you can add that and click on use before variations and click on save attributes now on the variation setting setting click on create variation from all attributes and click on go and now four variations added here you can add price for each variations you can add all the details of that each variations and just adding only the price you can add particular images and you can 
add descriptions for each product you can add descriptions you can add video URLs all these things you can use that click on save changes once you finish that you can just add a new category or title of that product you can add some descriptions for the product you can add a short description like this as you are seeing in the video you can just add send your home furniture to anywhere you go whatever you need you can just add that just add all these details and add a product image you can add a product image for that particular product click on set product image you can just add a type category product tag etc on that per product page on that per product page right and click on publish once you finish that now just click on view product and you can see our product is added successfully right now you can see the prices all the prices you can see now we can change this quantity label into uh, some weight so we can just copy this code you can go to our website and you can get this code from there click on appearance and click on theme editor and here you can just choose the functions dot php and just paste code here like this as you are seeing in the video you can just paste that code and change the new label into weight so the quantity label will be changed on your front end now just click on update file now just refresh your website and you can see the changes and you can add some additional words like weight in kilogram you can add whatever name you can you want to add you can just add that and the another settings is add to cart instead of add to cart we can just type book now option so just go, go to our website and you will get that code also from there you can just go copy that piece of code and you can just add it on that theme php you can just paste it on your website and just change the buy now text into book now you can just add buy now into book now just add that ok right now just click on update file and you can just go to your product page and you can see the changes just refresh your product page and you can see the add to cart into book now option right ok now on the billing details page you can have to enter ship to a different address uh, you have to change this textures also so go to the page and you can just copy this code and you can just add it on your copy this code and you can just add it on your theme dot functions dot php you can just paste it there and you can just change the partial pay you can just delete that and you can just add enter the consignee details enter the consignee details Under the consignee address whatever you need you can just add that now just click on update file 
you can just add the update file you can change any words like this and just refresh and you can see the changes ok guys now go to the appearance and you can just create a new menu for your website click on create a new menu you can add a menu and you can just select the display locations for that particular menu click on create menu and you can just choose the pages from this list and you can just add the pages you can add the pages like this and click on add to menu and you can choose the pages and you can change the navigation labels once you finish that click on save menu and go to your website front page and you can just refresh and customize option on the customize option you will see a option to edit your header section so just click on that section and you can just change that menu into the newly created menu just click on there and you can select the main menu into the new menu set which we are created now just click on publish and you can see our menu is changed like this you can change any options on the customize option right now click on the manage branches option here you can add some branches for our website you can add some default your own branches and click on save branches like this you can like this you can add all these things click on usage section and click on add new and you can add all the username email etc here and you can just choose the role of that particular user role you can choose that and you can just click on that particular role and you can just click on add new user like this add all the details now go to the manage branches section again and you can add all these employees and this usage on each branch you can add the branch manager you can choose like this you can just you can just add and click on update branch so all these staffs are added to the particular branch now go to the settings section and click on the general settings and here you can just click on the anyone can register option and the new user default mode into pending client you can choose that pending client and click on save changes All right ok once you finish that you can go to the if option click on custom thank you page here you can just select the external URL and you can just add your custom thank you page as you are seeing in the video you can switch as you are seeing in the video you can select the dashboard also uh, the custom thank you page ok once you finish that you can go to the plugin settings again click on add new and here you can just add a click to chat plugin click on install and you can just activate that plugin this is for the whatsapp option so the customer can contact us through whatsapp so just activate that plugin you can go to the plugin settings on the plugin here 
here you can just add the country code and your mobile number and all other plugin settings you can be customized according to your requirements you can change the colors and uh, display positions etc on the plugin settings itself once you finish that you can just go to the you can just go to the save changes option and click on that and the changes will be take place and you can see it on your website now you can see the whatsapp option is available here now we can go to a product page and we can just order a shipping now just book a shipping and you can just click on view card and you can see the weight in kilogram you can just update the prices and all these things you can see here you can just update that you can click on the proceed to checkout and you can just complete the checkout you can place the order ok now this is the default dashboard the customer getting first time or verification so once the customer is verified then only they can see their shipments and everything so we can we will get an email notification when a customer places an order click on edit option on the shipment settings and we can go to the client section and we can go to the user section again and we can just change that particular users all into the WP cargo client after the verification you can just enable that so if you have any process you can be do on our website and you can just update that user so the customer we can go to the shipping settings and just reload and now the client is automatically added into that shipment to that particular client right like this after that go to the clients dash clients dashboard and when they refresh that they can see their shipment so they can just edit that shipment and the admin can also change that they can assign a agent a employee a branch manager for that particular shipment so the agent can be selected branch manager can be selected a branch can be assigned for that particular shipments once you finish that click on update ok right now we have finished that and the customer can track their order on the track your order section and now our website is completed completed and the customer can choose a product and they can complete the online booking like this and if you have any doubt about this video about this topic you can just ask, ask it on that is on the comment box below if you like the video please subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video